Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick. No, not that Nick and Dave were part of the writing team of this game. Uh, this is called Extreme on the ZX Spectrum, published by Digital Integration in 1991. It's sort of like exploration shooter type game, which also came out on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. Um, I think it was uh, it shares a lot with the engine used for Dandere 3, which we've already uh, reviewed, and I'm not sure it's supposed to be a full game in its own right, but rather more of a tech demo. But we'll see how it plays graphics it looks absolutely gorgeous so far basically you fly around you must defeat the steg pirates you can uh, read that bit going across the top if you want to and by solving puzzles to get to next bits of the uh, a map but you must essentially disable an alien ship which is crash landed with a bomb on board that's pretty much it so we'll see how we get on the year is 3012 and you might be able to tell by these graphics now they've done a great job in that shading there I do have some pokes on this, but we'll try not to use them first of all. Just see how it plays, get an impression of what your experience would have been the first time you were actually playing the game. So if you, you're aware of this channel, you'll know that my gameplay is pretty rubbish. Let's see how the thing plays. Yeah, um, check out the similarities of Dandere 3 as we recharge our weapon. Now, a shield is across the top there in those coloured blocks. We've got a choice of weapons we can pick up. We've got torch at the moment powered up to 99. Uh, we can change that to a shield. I think there's turbo things that go on. So, um, notice the whole screen is scrolling rather than the character on a flip screen. So it's doing quite a lot here already for 48k. Um, we've gone right and we seem to have got into a fence. Can we get through there? I don't think so. so. Let's go back the way we came. You see our energy is already quite low, but we can regenerate it by landing on this pad, right? So it's one of these games where it's go left. If you had this game back in the day, let me know, because it's um, very unlikely I'm going to get too far in this if it's uh, quite a big puzzle sort of like element. Would I play this game back? Well, a bit early to tell at the moment. Let's see if it frustrates me or not. Right, so energy is getting quite low again. Let's kill all these bugs, and they do keep regenerating. There's a UFO up there, I think. Let's shoot that. Oops, what's this? Looks like a button. Oh, it was a button. We pressed it, and it's gone green. And what has that solved? Let's go down here. Volcanic lava. Can we get through here? The answer to that, is Nick, is no. Right, volcanic lava kills you. So let's take what we've learned and go forward. So that was quite brief. I do like this white screen there, that's nice. And that face against the uh, rainbow graphics is cool as well. So recharge your weapon, try and solve what to do. But uh, graphically, it looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Lots of attention to detail here, which I'm a big fan of. I think it might be um, a graphic vest more than the playability, because it seems a little bit tricky. Uh, looks like there's some sort of tread that we well we're flying, but we use that um, tank sort of like tread, and it does animate. It does turn around, so I like that as well. So round here we go. Hit the button. Now I'd imagine there are walkthroughs on YouTube. This channel is never doing walkthroughs ever, ever. Right? We're having a laugh. We're talking about the game down the pub many years later after it came out. And this would have been, I think, this would have been. There's a shield there. Can we get through with the shield? Come on, luck. No, we can't. So that hasn't worked. So yeah, we were discussing it down the pub, um, and the gameplay is reflective of what a kid would have played it in their first few goes, and then coming to the understanding, would you have ever gone back and played it again? I think I would have gone back every now and again, but wouldn't have gone much further than what I'm doing now, uh, unless I actually fluke something. But you can't um, ignore, this does look um, jolly special, but it might be a bit of a, a style over substance here, but uh, yes. Now, if you play this game a lot back in the day, if you persevere with it, I'd imagine there's quite a lot of the map to explore, so you might have got quite a lot out of it. Uh, if you were one of those people, comment below, what are some of the highlights of this game uh, later on? Excellent. But yes, can't deny, it looks jolly spectacular. Even that volcanic lava there is animated, look at that. It's doing a lot, it's doing a lot for 48k. Right, hit the button again. Oops, oh my word. Destroy the UFO, destroy the other UFO. Now apparently the um, the, the friendly aliens who deserted this ship have left um, weapons and things to help you. Um, right, is that not happening? That green button must do something. Maybe I've got to go back the way I came. Um, yeah. There must be something I'm missing here. The green light is definitely on. What other buttons are there? Is there something here? Maybe there's a pressure pad. Energy low, well, that's not good. Right, let's go back then and regenerate our energy and maybe come back in this direction. 
Energy low. Right. Boop. Now, talking of the Dan Dare games, that this one borrows the engine from. I uh, that, I do like those games, but I, I really like the first one the most, probably. Check out those reviews if you haven't done so already. Dan Dare from the comic Dan, Dare, well, the Eagle comic, I think, uh, and the evil uh, nemesis was the Mekon. Do 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 do. Right, that's recharged. Boom. Let's see if we can solve so now. That green button, does it open the gates back in this other direction? The answer to that, Nicky, is no, it doesn't. So it seems to draw it seems to draw the gate quite late on. The, so this is a part of the puzzle, I think. There must be a way of knocking that force field down. And it's quite bold the coding of this to actually animate the whole screen rather than just the, the uh, character. So that took some doing. The person who coded this, or the two people, was it Nick and Dave, they certainly knew what they was doing, so hats off to them. Well done, them. If you're watching Nick and Dave, you're probably not. But if you're watching, well done, you. Fantastico. I'm really impressed. Kaboom. Right, let's get round here. So 1991, so quite near the end of the Spectrum's run, it has to be said. So there might be a few of you out there that had never heard of this game and seeing it quite late on. I do not know what I'm doing. What am I doing? He doesn't know what he's doing. So back in the day, a magazine... Oh, there's turbo. Can we turbo round? Back in the day, a magazine telling you what to do would have helped greatly. There's turbo. Right, turbo, let's get through before the energy runs out. Can we do that with it? We're not there. I thought we was just about going to make it then. Right, okay, let's see if I can put a poke in then. Uh, I've got pokes for infinite... Well, I've got pokes for infinite shields, but I think that's per go. Uh, infinite ammo and infinite time. I'm not sure how much that's going to help us really, but we'll see. This will be my last goal, and then we'll say goodbye, extreme. And the game is extreme. It's been well named. Extreme. It doesn't come much more extreme than this. You know, the, the game wants me to try and get better and better at it, I think. There is a level of addictiveness there. Uh, it's just uh, if I can solve this first puzzle, I'll be away, but. Um, the first puzzle could have been a bit easier, so I've been hitting the green button. The energy bar at the top there seems to go down a bit too sh um, quickly. You see that now my firepower now, Talk 99, is not going down, so one of the pokes is working. We've got infinite time, but I can't see time ticking down anywhere. Uh, yeah, but I think our energy is... Um, I haven't got a poke for that. So have a look. Yeah, see, that's still going down. So uh, we'll see if I can get some further, but I'm not, I'm not promising anything. We've pretty much seen how it plays. There's a bit of inertia here as well, so if you know if you it, the, the uh, ship doesn't stay where it is, if you try to leave it, it will gradually sink. Um, right. What's that? It's obviously something I'm missing here. There's not a button there. Energy low. Something very obvious and the game over again. Well, I said that would be my last goal, but let's just have one other last goal. As I told you the last time, this will be my last goal, right? It won't happen again. 1991 Digital Integration, as that alien person gives us the lowdown. Do, 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 do. Lovely force field there, either side. Doesn't seem to block meanies coming at you. I would have liked the flame flood to start at 99 without you having to regenerate, but it does teach you quite quickly that regeneration is an actual thing. So minor gripes, energy goes on a bit too quick, but that might be because I'm rubbish. Uh, positives, great graphics, great sound. Uh, animation isn't too bad for the amount of things moving on the screen at the same time. A good puzzle element, although I seem to be particularly stupid in solving this first one. All I've seemed to manage to do is press the green button. And there's, there's no other, other place to go, apart from down into that volcanic lava, so there must be a trick there. I like the way the border flashes, those red and black bars, when the things hit you, that's quite cool. Let's replenish, yeah, let's replenish our energy and have another go at that vault, that lava thing. See if there's anything I'm missing, then we'll leave. We'll say goodnight Vienna and various other countries, depending on, or cities, depending on where you're watching this from. If you're watching from a capital of the world, no matter what country, put it below. Excellent. I'm not asking for your IP address or anything. Don't be silly about it. Well, what was that? I just picked up some sort of power up, I think. Okay. Let's just rest down here. Maybe we can get a few other power-ups and that might help us with the volcanic lava. Nick, you timed that rubbish. What are these things? 
They're, they're good. Um, they're good animated uh, aliens. I do like them. They do look original. Uh, looks like the graphics are two tone as well, which is pretty special. Normally with the um, the spectrum is either one colour or not. So there's a bit of a there's a bit of crafty magic going on there. Pretty special. If you know any similar games than this, then let me know in the comment section below. I quite often will add stuff to the list as people mention it. And we say we might get to it quite quickly, or it might be years, but uh, eventually we'll, we'll get to it. Right, so the secret is here. Oh, what's that coming across? Right, okay, so there's a hole there, right? Oh man, oh, I don't like this. The inertia. Keep moving. Oh, lost a bit of energy, lost a bit of energy there. Keep going, Nick, keep going. Don't keep dropping. Oh, you have to be a, you have to be a blooming expert here. Come on. Oh man. At least we've solved this now. Get out, get out. Ow. Oh, curses. Do you know, I think we're about another 10 goes. I'd probably get there, but uh, I, I won't put you through too much more pain because this is just supposed to be a gameplay uh, review type thing. So I hope you liked having a look at that. That was Extreme on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Digital Integration in 1991. I quite liked it um, from a... Um, well, from a spectacle point of view, but as a game, it could be a little bit frustrating. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome, and I love hearing from you. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.